in time. Alpine makes a huge stop and still they get stopped in midfield. They've had a few opportunities at counterattacks that have been significantly slowed down. Not completely stopped though, and it's Jordan who breaks through. No way, Alpine able to score a goal here off of a interesting transition. Great dunk from Magic Bear. And Mechdos, like a late call by Taroko as Mechdos couldn't get a shot on target. And again, Alpine, kind of a mess defensively, Wait. but there was a collision at midfield between, I think it was Sosa and Mechdos. And as a result, no, it's Mechdos and Taroko. Either way, Magic Bear into an empty net. This still goes back here just. So 2 0 for the Alpine squad in game number one, but it wasn't without faults as we go into game two. Yeah, this game one definitely sloppy, but it's been fairly quiet on the Alpine end as well as they have been spending most of this game on their own half. Magic Bear around one and through another. Nobody's going to be home, so who takes it? Magic Bear, his second of the series. And if you look away, you, you miss it here. Sosa just doesn't get a piece of the ball on the challenge. It's another breakaway. Percy being generous. We'll, we'll give match with that goal exactly is now Sosa. On his way through, going to drop that off for Taroko, but Jordan's there to make sure that doesn't go netward. But another couple of demos from Taroko. Finally, Plot Twist is going to break through. They had to take out two thirds of the defense to do so. I was going to say, if you can't go around them stacks, you go through them, and that's exactly what happens. Taroko. Once again, Daz, they're just doing barely enough to keep ahead or at least level with Plot Twist. They are. Now Plot Twist are again starting to fight back. That's a pass into a shot. Sosa scores. They finally connect stacks. The leading scorer on the team. Got to feed the hot hand. This time they do. And he's just challenging. Percy double just wide. Magic Bear, one last chance for Jordan. No, they've got to ground this and they do. Plot Twist ties the series with that late strike from Sosa. It's the Taroko show. Here goes Magic Bear off the initial kickoff and Mektos in an awkward spot on that cheat up. Could only play that deep to the corner. Taroko playing way back as he has had to for most of the wow. series. What a pick off by Jordan. This play was almost all Jordan gets in front. Demo Sosa comes back out the net. Sees Mektos with the touch and the backflip to redirect that in. Jordan starting things off on the right foot for Alpine. They were flirting with disaster for that entire opening 10 seconds. And this time Alpine made him pay. Now Sosa, double, oh, 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 bang, bang! They're putting on a show for us here, Stax. Good read from Sosa. Like you said, the double. Beautiful Woo. placement for... That team's doing just enough. Now both teams, they are being tested. I'm shocked right now that this game is 1-1 because it feels like it could be 3-2 one way or the other. Mekdos has to react to drop that back to the corner. Taroko can't jump in time. Percy puts Alpine back in front. And you talk about the reaction from Mekdos. He feels like he needs to touch that one, but it bounces off the corner. Who's going to go trying to beat out Magic Bear this time? So says there as well as Taroko knocks Magic away. And Percy is there to swat the ball away. I mean, it feels like Daz that if Plot Twist is going to come back in this game, they've got to do it on the ground because right now they're just getting beaten everywhere in the air. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Alpine, the pass plays work out for them really well, but it's also the fake from Jordan here that kind of throw. I mean, we do need to see more of those team plays coming out from Plot Twist. It really just has not been, well, what they're doing right now hasn't been as successful. This one might be a play. Mektos, will it fall? Someone put it in, it'll be Taroko. He'll bring Ooh. this game within one for Plot Twist. Man, that ball didn't go in. You might as well have ended the series because if you can't score there, I, just not, they're not getting away from what they feel gives them the best chance to win, but they've got one second. Now they got to keep the ball in the air and Percy swats it right back down. Field, Mektos at least kept this up. But now Sosa's got to get over there. And that's a great job by Percy, Ooh. shielding Sosa off the ball. They got a shot on that almost ended it. But now Sosa can get this downfield. Taroko denied. Magic Bear, I think, just got a touch. And this will end game three.
You gotta respect Plot Twist's ability at zero seconds though to keep. And this is what I talked about, Daz. You can only keep him down for so long. Eventually, Jiroko's just gonna get sick of being passive and take over this series. Look Could at happen him here. Look he at certainly him. does. He's the striker of this Plot Twist team. And like you said, he's done playing around. Sneaky pass from Mektos and the floater from Taroka. They want to win here. Big in terms of just their overall story as a team. And for them, they're sending everything they got out here on Forbidden Temple right now. They have the lead. But wait, it gets through them. And Jordan will come up with a goal. Uh, okay. Taroka side flip. You know, well, that was all set up, by the way, by the demo on Taroko, not like 10 seconds before that. He was sitting there waiting for a pass from Mektos. It never got there because they took him off the field. Oh! And so he came off the respawn, and then Mektos makes good on everything that just happened over the last 20 seconds. The fake Whoop. into the touch, goes for the bump, and then Taroko just speeds through to follow it up. Side, Zosa coming on. That's saved away. And Jordan... But at least try to get this out of the zone, but Taroko is lurking. He may have to make a save. Oh, what a stop by Sosa. Just getting in Percy's way, but nobody stayed at the net. And Magic Bear ties the game. You cannot give these clean looks here to Alpine because they will take these goals any day of the week. You see two people jumbled up in the corner. That moment, if Plot Twist is not able to come back in this series, Percy will stop this in midfield. Jordan's already down there, and that's dangerous. Percy, Jordan, who's going to take it? Jordan for Percy gives Alpine the lead. And Alpine, like I said, they were pushing against Plot Twist. And Plot Twist tried to push back. You see Jordan getting pushed on that play. Still able to get a perfect pass out. Who spit? Now they have to chase this one downfield. There's the fake. Shot comes up high. No follow up. Taroko off the back wall. But who's there? Everyone's in the blue net. Magic Bear will turn it around and put it in. A two goal lead here for Alpine with 37 seconds left. Four goals in the series to go with three assists. Magic Bear, MVP. Thrown in, and at this point, Stax, this is all but over. Alpine able to take the series here against Plot Twist. In four games, Plot Twist put up a good fight, but the run ends here. Alpine stay alive.